I'm here at 10 Downing Street to speak to the Prime Minister ahead of his visit to India. Top of the agenda is trade ties between the two countries and there's high hopes on both ends. But here in the UK, the British Asian community have questions. I'm here at 10 Downing Street to speak to the Prime Minister ahead of his visit to India. Top of the agenda is trade ties between the two countries and there's high hopes on both ends. But here in the UK, the British Asian community have questions they want to ask David Cameron and I'm here to get answers for them. Prime Minister, you're going to India later this month. How do you think future trade ties will um, affect people at grassroots levels in India and the UK? Well, I hope they'll affect people both of us really positively because we both want to see jobs, we want to see growth, we want to see investment and I think it's a very special partnership between Britain and India. We've got these ties of history, language, culture but really I see it as a very strong relationship about the future. Huge investment from India into Britain, huge investment from Britain into India, lots of our businesses partnering, lots of trade uh, and lots of jobs. That's what I see uh, good for both of us and uh, something I'm really, really enthusiastic about. And what do you expect from India's side? Well, well, I think it's good for both of us. I mean, we've set a target, the Indian Prime Minister and I, of doubling trade between Britain and India over this parliament. We hope to achieve that. Obviously, I think we should both be looking at what can we do to make it easier to invest in Britain? What can we do to make it easier to invest in India? And that's why we have a very talented group of uh, chief executive officers, CEOs, from British and Indian companies who come together and then they advise the Indian Prime Minister and me and say, right, here are the things you need to change so that we have more trade, more investment, more jobs. Moving on to Kashmir, is there any role, if any, Britain can play to re uh, resolve the conflict out there? I think the best thing that we can do is to encourage dialogue uh, between India and Pakistan. Uh, it's, it's good that there have been uh, discussions. We should encourage that, but I think it is for India and Pakistan to take forward uh, rather than for Britain to try and insert uh, ourselves into a process. And does Britain hold any responsibility for what's happening out there till this date? Well, obviously there is all the, the history of this uh, issue, but uh, as we stand today, I think what matters most of all is for India and Pakistan for themselves to uh, to encourage dialogue and to find a way through and uh, we should be supportive of that rather than to think that we can somehow insert ourselves into some into some role. Here in the UK it seems that um, Asian voters they always seem to revert back to Labour. Why is that? What, what aren't the Tories doing that can keep the Asian vote? Well I think, uh, look I want to win support amongst uh, Asian voters in Britain on the basis that I think that uh, we share many of the same values. A belief in family, a belief in entrepreneurship, a belief in the importance of neighbourhood and community, uh, a belief that, you know, we belong to a society and we should be encouraging people to put back in. Those to me are, you know, classic British values, classic Asian values, and, uh, you know, the British Indian community brings an enormous amount uh, to our country and contributes a huge amount. And I think perhaps in the past sometimes people have held back from voting Conservative because they haven't seen enough uh, strong British Indian representation in our party. Well, that's changed now. You can see on the Conservative benches, in the House of Commons, in the House of Lords, really talented MPs and peers who, who love Britain and care passionately about our country and care also about their, their heritage uh, for, from India as well. So I hope that it's changing. I want to win people over. But uh, I, I recognise I've still got work to do. Yeah, are you worried about losing the Asian vote? I mean, how are you going to get, gain those votes? Well, I think if we explain those things that uh, British Asians and British Indians really care about, support for family, support for enterprise, recognising that the small business is the lifeblood of our country, and also this whole link between Britain and India, that uh, we're two different countries at different stages of development, but there's a fantastic partnership that we can, we can have together. And you see that in you know, the fantastic Indian investment into Britain. You know, Tata have transform Jaguar Land Rover to be one of the most successful com companies anywhere in the world over the last year and British investment into India can make a big difference too so it's a very good vibrant partnership it's not just about business and trade it's about culture it's about education uh, and I think if we win that argument we can win people over.
Do you think that Asians in this country, if they want to get hurt, they have to shout out before they're hurt? Are you proactive or are you reactive to the way you deal with Asians? I think we, we were too reactive. We've become more proactive. I'm really proud of the fact that you know we've got uh, in Parliament, in my party, uh, British Sikhs, British Hindus who make a massive contribution in Parliament, in society. Maybe in the past we didn't, you know, we, we weren't open enough. We didn't do enough to promote uh, that sort of thinking. But we have. Now we need to get out there and shout it from the rooftops. Immigration's a big thing. You're trying to get trade here. I mean, isn't it a hindrance? We haven't perhaps communicated this properly. The fact is, today, as we stand, uh, and these are, this is going to be the case going forward, there is no limit on the number of students who can come from India to study at British universities. No limit at all. All you need is a basic English qualification and a place at a British university. And what's more, after you've left the British university, if you can get a graduate level job, there's no limit to the, the amount of people who can stay and work or the time that they can stay and work. Now, we need to take that message out to talented young people in India and say, if you want to make that choice, Britain will be incredibly welcoming. Of course, we have to control uh, immigration in all its forms, as any country would. But actually, Britain's got an amazing offer to make to students. We have 40,000 Indian students in Britain. I'm really proud of that. But the offer we've got, no limit on the numbers, no limit on how you can work in graduate jobs afterwards, I think is a great offer to make. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So there you have it. The Prime Minister is determined to secure the Asian vote. I'm Suki Joel, reporting for Sunrise TV.